Now, in the state of Florida, one of the most important things you need to be able to do to keep your life moving normally every day is driving. Now, if you've been arrested for a DUI, you've already potentially lost your driver's license. Now, if you've provided a breast sample in that case and you blew over a 0.08, you've lost your driver's license for six months. If you refuse to provide a breast sample in your case, you've already lost your driver's license for one year. Now this can feel very overwhelming and devastating. How do I keep things going forward? Now, the things you need to do in order are, number one, you need to hire an attorney. They can help you through this process and make sure you're doing everything on time. Number two is you have to make a decision about what you wanna do with your driver's license. Now, you will have a driver's license temporarily for 10 days. If you look at the bottom of your traffic citation, you'll see that that will serve as a driver's license for 10 days. Within that 10 day period of time, you have to decide, do you wanna fight the suspension and try to get the whole thing thrown out and keep your driver's license fully valid? Or do you wanna keep a hardship license while this case is going on? Now, unless you have consulted with an attorney and you know you have a fighting chance at getting that suspension thrown out, one of the best things you can do to keep your life normal during a DUI is to get your hardship license in your hand. Now, number three is signing up for DUI school. What you do is depending on the county that you live in, your county will have a specific DUI school you have to enroll in. Once you enroll in your DUI school, then you can submit your application for your hardship license. Now the DMV will review that, and as long as you've never been convicted of a DUI anywhere else, you are eligible for that hardship license and you will have one issued to you. Now, once you have that hardship in your hand, you're gonna be able to go to school, you're gonna be able to go to church, you're gonna be able to go to work and do all life necessities and essentials. Things like going to the grocery store to be able to keep things moving forward. Now, let an attorney handle the rest for you. These are the best steps that you can take for yourself when you've been arrested for a DUI to keep your life normal, keep things moving forward, and to make sure that this doesn't impact your ability to keep your job. Carlson Meisner Hard and Hazlett, protecting your rights since 1971.